Chris with HobbyKing.com and we've got a quadcopter we're going to talk about today. It's the S500 and it's got some really cool features that definitely sets it apart from your standard flame wheel style uh, quadcopters. Uh, de so definitely watch this all the way through. It's got a surprise right here at the top we're going to talk about. On the bottom, uh, we've got the standard 60 millimeter uh, uh, separation rails with 10 millimeter rods. Uh, it's pretty much been the standard. So if you buy any like uh, uh, gimbals like Terrot or Quantums or any of those, it snaps right onto these standard rods. It's got a really nice uh, shiftable uh, battery mounting uh, pad right here, which of course is on the hook and rod. It allows you to uh, slide that back and forth, which uh, allows you to put a gimbal up forward, gets your, your view away from the props itself and shift this towards the backside to center out the, uh, the center of gravity on the quad itself. It's got some nice uh, tall crab gear that actually has a little design in it that allows it to uh, the flex when it lands. So it gives itself a little bit of a cushion there so that uh, it's pretty much gimbal ready. Now let's go ahead and talk about the bread and butter and why this is different from most uh, flame wheel style quads out there. And if we take a look at it uh, straight on, you're gonna notice one, the arm sweeps up and has a slight angle in it. Uh, that does two things for you. It puts a little dihedral in it, so kind of like an airplane, which adds to stability, um, uh, raising the motors even higher. And the other thing it does is that quads, if they're poorly tuned, um, as they descend, kind of get a wobble into them. And, and part of that is they're falling into their own prop wash. But with that slight, slight arc, the, uh, the, the prop wash is thrown out um, away from the, the quad and they, they descend much nicer as well. So uh, that's one of the, the cool features on it. But the big thing, the biggest thing with this quad that uh, one of the reasons that we brought it in is these arms. Uh, first thing, uh, you're going to notice the mounting on it. it has your standard 16 by 19 mounting and it also has 25 millimeter mounting so you can adapt uh, pretty much any type of motor to this. And it comes out pretty much flat right off the top of that so you, you don't have problems with a little bit larger motors. You know, 38 series or 40 series motors will adapt to this no problem. So now let's talk about why this particular quad is so awesome, and it's actually the arms. We just talked about the motors, but if we take a look right in here, you're going to notice these little slots. And if you're able to actually zoom in, and uh, I'll, I'll do a little cut so you can actually get in here and take a look at it. But uh, what it, that is is a carbon rod that runs down the middle. When they mold these arms, they take a carbon rod, they lay it in the mold, and then they eject the, uh, the glass fiber plastic into it and around it. Uh, because it actually has a center carbon rod that runs the whole length of this arm, has zero flex in it. You can take standard flame wheel style quads, and if you're, you know, depending on which uh, manufacturer you get, you can twist them, you can flex them. When they hit, they're a little brittle, they snap. Um, the, like I said, it depends on which one you get. This arm is absolutely the most rigidest thing I've actually felt on a quad uh, of this type. It just does not flex, it does not twist, it just does not move, and it's all because of that, that uh, carbon rod right down the center on it. Let's go ahead and grab some specs. Like I said, it is a S500. So if we lay the tape across that, center to center comes in right at 500 on that. And let's go ahead and grab a uh, weight. Let's make sure my scale is on. And for being a uh, 500 quad, I've always had a rule of thumb for every uh, millimeter in length, it's one gram. Uh, so it's got to be under that uh, to be considered a, a light quad or, or acceptable on weight. And we're coming in right at 412 for 500, so it's uh, definitely below that. So it's very light for its given size. And of course, pricing, Hobby King pricing, you absolutely cannot beat it. Definitely check it out. It's an interesting quad. The flight characteristics are a lot smoother with the upswept. The arms are pretty much, uh, I wouldn't say indestructible, but extremely rigid because of that carbon rod down the center. You get the nice uh, tall crab gear with built-in shock absorption. You get your 60 millimeter rods with it. Absolutely check it out. It's on the new items page. And as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will see you next time.